Hello and welcome to another episode of It Came From The Page. And today we're doing a very special tag. This is the Paxi Award tag. If you don't know, uh, this year, a uh, beloved YouTuber and just a all-around great person and a great friend, uh, Pax Panic passed away uh, due to cancer. And she would, every year, where she would make a list of all of her favorite people and give them various awards. And she would do this every year. Uh, it's the second annual, like the, the last year's was the second annual. And I just feel like it would not be right if 2023 passed and there was not some version of, uh, of the, the Paxis. Uh, I want to give a big thank you to Sam from Super Blomper for giving the idea that this should be a tag versus just being an award ceremony. And also I want to thank Criminali for starting this out. Uh, this was a hard tag to make because uh, it involved having to go back and rewatch the Paxis from last year. And there was a lot of tears. Uh, this is actually my second time recording this video. Uh, so hopefully I can be as heartfelt as, as I could before. Uh, don't get too emotional, but uh, Pax would... Uh, would treasure emotions because uh, that was the kind of person she was. She was the best of us. Uh, so let's just start out with the best opening. Uh, for me, I got to give this to Cameron Chaney from Library Macabre. There's a m many, many people who I could have given this award to, um, including Moose, who is who is doing a Moose thing, which is called disrupting the video. <laughs> you didn't do it the first time, Moose. Ugh. We're leaving this in because Pax would have loved this. Pax would have thought it was very funny. I remember I asked Pax if she had any video requests uh, when she was in the hospital. And she said, oh, just give me random cat footage. So, uh, you know, I think it's appropriate that a cat would mess up her tag. Yeah, I think it's appropriate. And, uh, yeah, I also, uh, when, the, when I sent her my final letter to her, I sent her a little lock of Jughead's hair. So I know she loved the cats and they meant a lot to her, so... Uh, oh god anyways uh not gonna cry uh so yeah so cameron cheney is one of the first youtubers who i ever encountered on the platform uh really started my love of paperbacks from hell vintage horror and he has such a amazing way of opening all of his videos uh he has strong editing the kind of editing that is just remarkable and everyone who watches it is immediately enthralled and you're immediately brought in and know you're about to get an awesome video he does so much work into editing and putting together his videos and they always look gorgeous and the opening is just outstanding so i gotta give this one to uh, cameron cheney uh because without him i wouldn't have discovered all of these wonderful youtubers so he was he was the first uh, and his openings and his editing is just outstanding. And he just seems like the loveliest person. He just seems like a wonderful, wonderful, lovely person. So, you know, got to give him some love. Next up is the Creative Paxi, which is going to Lauren from Happy Haunts Library. Lauren is such a skilled YouTuber. She manages to use everything about the format to its pinnacle uh it, it she is truly probably one of the consistently best channels uh on booktube she is extremely creative in the way that she presents her content uh it's like kind of a running joke that she's the queen of b-roll it's not really a joke because she definitely is she captures b-roll and then puts together to tell a story She's always entertaining. She is always extremely intelligent with how she talks about books in a way that just always blows my mind. And she has such a creative approach to talking about books and to presenting her opinions on books that it's just... Moose. I... Moose. What are you doing, my man? My lady? Anyways. Uh... <laughs> she has such a, a, a skill and... A, and an energy to her her the way she presents everything is just top-notch amazing she's also just a lovely amazing person in general so i have to give this to lauren from happy haunts library who is just mwah, a maestro when it comes to booktube 
Next up is the tag extraordinaire. I'm going to give this to Alex Unabridged. Uh, for many reasons, he does a lot of tags, but also because he's probably the person who has given me the most tags in videos, and I haven't done the tags yet, so I wanted to apologize for Alex and Alex Underbridge. He's a very nice, very soft-spoken, gentle man, uh, and I always feel the relaxed when I watch his videos. So yeah, I'm sorry. I gotta do these tags. I will do it, I promise, I promise. But he does a lot of tags, and he does it extremely well. Uh, here's one where it's, if you like me, then try this. So it's a kind of like a copycat. What other booktuber kind of reflects your style. Now, for me, it's a very specific topic. So I get this uh, unjustified uh, kind of idea on BookTube that I am a, uh, extremely skilled when it comes to movie novelizations. I collect movie novelizations. I like movie novelizations. But there is one channel that does everything better than me, and that is reading movies. He presents all of these movie novelizations from specific years. He has a great presentation. He has a huge depth of knowledge about these. Uh, even when I did my Garbagus primer for novelizations, he pointed out some things that, like, hey, like, they, this actually does exist. This isn't lost. And he actually came with more information for a lot of really interesting rabbit holes for me to go down. He was super kind in that video, too. So it wasn't like a, a hottie like, I'm better than you. Here's my corrections. It was just a, hey, I, we love both love a similar topic. And here's some things that, you know, you might not have known about. And I didn't. And I left uh, his comment feeling educated. So uh, he seems like a, a lovely person. And he's extremely knowledgeable. And I just love the way he presents uh, movie novelizations and talks about them. Uh, Top-notch work extremely knowledgeable, much smarter on the topic than I am. Number five, series extraordinaire. I don't actually follow too many channels that do series, uh, but this is an unofficial series, but it happens almost every month, and that is Kitty from Spicy Cats Read. It's <laughs> I don't, know I, <laughs> I don't know why I forgot the S there. It just was, it was a very, like, S. Uh, their uh, videos about journaling. The journaling videos are amazing. The, oh my goodness. Every time, every time. Kitty, like, presents themselves in such a vibrant way and works through a lot of uh, interesting ideas when journaling you will leave those videos feeling inspired feeling like i want to try journaling these journals are so beautiful and you can tell so much hard work has gone into them and it's just always a thrill to watch like i love the way that the camera is placed as you go through this there is so much thought put into these journals and it's like damn these journals are amazing and everyone who watches them is like i want to make journals now i want to be creative and i'm like that right there is quality entertainment because if you are inspiring others to continue uh you know you're you're doing something right uh and uh kitty's journals are amazing amazing i love them uh kitty was somebody who would be uh eligible for most of these awards but <laughs> i had to choose one <laughs> for them and i thought oh yeah i gotta i gotta give a props to those journals because they are just mwah, 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 chef's kiss perfection and kitty's just a wonderful creator you definitely should follow them next up is the funniest paxi bar none is this even a question because it's kelsey from slime and slashers the funniest person i know no person in my entire life whether it be booktube or just the rest of my normal boring life has brought me so much joy this year as kelsey uh she is so funny the way her brain works is so good. There have been so many funny moments, so much joy uh, that she's brought to my life. She's a wonderful person, a amazing friend, uh, and she's so incredibly funny. Again, this is somebody who would be eligible for like most of these awards, but I had to give her the funniest because, oh my goodness, I edit and record drunk commentaries with her for a Patreon, and Listening to those back are the funniest things imaginable. Uh, I have 
so much fun editing these because I just go back and Kelsey says the next most unhinged thing we've ever heard. And it's so funny. And I'm just like dying laughing. Like me editing those uh, commentaries, I am just laughing the entire time and having the best time. Every time we're on sprints together, it's always a blast. Uh, oh my goodness, whether she's sprinting alone or she's sprinting with someone else or whatever she's doing, it's always entertaining and it always makes me smile and makes me laugh. So, Kelsey from Slime and Slashes, you the best. Best couple. This one has to go to Paige from Paige's Open Book and Joshua from Coffee, Cats, and King. Both of them are amazing in that they work super well together and they also work super well apart. They both have very different styles of books that they read and their video presentations are also very different. Like Paige is very like ecstatic and like get there and you always like, you like, you feel like, you know, you just drank an energy drink after you watch one of her videos. And then Joshua is like, hello, I drink a lot of coffee, but somehow I'm calm. Here's some cat footage. And it's just amazing. It, and and they, they, they work so well together. And then they work so well apart. And they're always like supporting each other on each other's videos. It's super cute. They have the cutest cats. They just seem to be like some of the nicest people who I've ever had the uh, fortune to meet on this, this platform. Uh, and Joshua from Coffee Cats and King was one of the very first people to ever comment on one of my YouTube videos. Uh, from the very beginning, as soon as I was doing BookTube, he was one of the first people there. So he is a long timer. He is a long timer. Uh, so, you know, much love to uh, Joshua Page, Havoc, and Chaos. Of course, they have to be mentioned because they watch the videos too. The YA Award. So this is something that goes to a channel that does extremely well at covering young adult fiction. Uh, last year on the Paxi Awards, it went to Elizabeth Sagewood, and I can see why. Elizabeth is amazing. Elizabeth has such an amazing way of talking about young adult fiction. She has a great style to her entertainment. I love hearing her talk. Like She has such a, a relaxing voice to listen to. Uh, she reads things that are like very unique. She has some spicy opinions sometimes, and she's not afraid to share them, which I enjoy. Like I enjoy somebody who's willing to uh, explore me media and talk about all aspects of it not just the things that she loved so you know that's really good and she does so much ya focused stuff that she of course she gets it as well but i would be remiss if i did not add one other person to this and this would 100 percent have to be shady side library shady side library Oh, he is like one of the sweetest people I've ever met. He sent me a bunch of books randomly and it me meant the world. He sent me a nice card with them and the card was of a black cat. And I was like, oh my gosh, uh, he is so fun. He is very succinct in his videos. Like they're very short, but like he gets all of his points across super well. And you can kind of tell that it's just like a boom, 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 boom. He knows what he wants to say. He says it. He doesn't waste your time. Uh, and you come out of the video Kind of going like, yes, I know more about this. I'm his his enthusiasm is kind of infectious. There's so many things that he's read and explored that I go, oh my goodness, I want to check these out. And I'm not a YA guy, so it's like it's really, really something uh, powerful. Uh, I really, really love Shady Side Library, so I would be remiss if I did not also give him some must deserve props. The next award is going to be uh, chosen not by me, but by my cats. So, enjoy the best pets, Paxi. My favorite is Venus. Oh, good to know, Wisteria. I like when cats fall from the sky in Gabby's videos from Hola Books. That is fair. A lot of cats do fall from the sky there. Good pick. How about you, Blueberry? Oh, I really like... I really like when Jackson arrives in Slime and Slash's videos. He's got a little clip in his cloppy. I think it's really cute. Do the clip it in the clopping. So I'll get the little doggy man. Perfect. Makes sense. Makes sense. How about you, Loomis? Oh, I love Havoc and Chaos. Because those are the cats that most resemble me. Oh, 
And I'm glad you did give them a war, because if you didn't, we'd be in trouble, because they do watch these videos, and Daddy can't afford to lose any more subscribers. Oof. Claude, who's your favorite? I like beans. I like beans. Beans is best. Cool. Perfect. Perfect. Now, if only we could find Nami. Huh. This video doesn't work. This is supposed to be one continuous shot with all the cats. All right, well, I gotta find Nami, so I guess we're bringing out the treats. Nami is currently in deliberation. I'm trying to remember. Who could possibly be her favorite? Okay, everyone else is here. Not Nami, though. Is she, like, abstaining from doing an award video? I think, I think, yeah, I think uh, Nami's favorite is herself. She abstains. Uh, congratulations, all winners in today's catastic award show. Now I'm going to give them treats or else they will get very, very mad at me. Oh, I found Nami. Oh, hello, Nami. How's it going? Now, uh, we need you to uh, let us know who your favorite pet is. Who's your favorite pet on BookTube right now? Amy's Fishes. That's what she said. Nami doesn't have a voice because she speaks psychically. Uh, it's definitely that I didn't forget to give her a voice. Uh, it's that she's a psychic cat. And she says Amy's goldfishes, and she hopes one day they kiss. Well, that's a strange thing to say, Nami. And it's also strange that you have no interest in those treats. Okay, psychic cat. Thank you. Bye. And we are back. Some interesting, interesting opinions from our my cats. Uh, some are even psychic. I didn't even know that beforehand. But yeah, congrats on the winners. Uh, next up is the sweetest Paxi. So for me, when I consider the sweetest, which is like the nicest person I know, I don't... There, There is such a thing as toxic positivity. And that can sometimes really infect uh, the content creation sphere. Uh, in that there are certain people who are kind of kind, but like... They don't really want to talk about any serious topics and they don't want to express and explore the entirety of the world. And for me, a, a nice person is somebody who, you know, knows about the world and has been kicked a few times, but that doesn't mean that they stop caring and are and that they stop mattering and showing up for others. And for me, bar none, this has to go to Amy from Amy Noel Reads, one of the kindest people I've ever had the pleasure to know. She is always being thoughtful to others. She checks in at very important times. She pays attention uh, when she talks to you and she pays attention to what events are going on in your life. Uh, she is somebody who has had a pretty rough year. She's had some rough spots this year, but it's never stopped her from just being a wonderful person. Uh, she's also incredibly funny, uh, incredibly fun to, to hang around. Uh, and she's just so darn sweet. And uh, she's a very mature person, and I love her delivery of her content. Uh, and I just really hope uh, 2024 treats you as well as you deserve, Amy, because you're the best. And I appreciate you. Number 11 is the Down to Earth Paxi. For me, this, gotta, this has to go to Kelly from Kelly Hooked on Books. Kelly is like the Reba. Well, mostly. She's not a single mom, but, you know, she loves her kids and never stops. She's a gentle soul and a, with the heart of a fighter. She's a survivor. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. But there you go, Kelly. You, you get the Reba Award. <laughs> but uh, the Down to Earth Paxi, uh, it just, I, I had to give it to Kelly. Because, like, Kelly is somebody who values her time. And every time she does her video, you can tell, like, she's got a billion other things going on. But when, you, when she sits down in front of the, the camera, she still delivering gold and she's delivering gold when like if you look in the background her kids are just going like going cray cray and you're like what and like there's so many cats running around and now they got a dog and i'm like oh and she like does a whole bunch of jobs and like she works her butt off and then also comes and like just sits down and, and like is very down to earth and it's somebody who you can tell like she values her time what free time she has she's the dnf queen for a reason she only has so much time to read, so she very strongly values that time. 
and uh, yeah, just down to earth, and she's very honest, and you know, you always feel like you're getting a glimpse into somebody just living their life every time. So, she's also a very wonderful person as well, with great cat meme uh, taste. Number 12, the best voice. This has to go to Crystal from Fiber Artsy. It's not even a question. It's not even a question. I mean, other than the fact that, like, I feel like Crystal could get all of the other awards as well. Uh, I don't think Crystal has any pets, so probably not that one. But the rest of the awards, uh, Crystal could 100% get uh, because she's just, like, a thoughtful, wonderful person. But I just, the voice... The vo- you got to give the award for the voice. Every time you talk to Crystal or you watch a video with Crystal, you're kind of just mesmerized by the voice. It, like, is so gentle and calming. And I'm just like, oh, yes. And no matter what it's about, it could be about the most unhinged smut book ever written. And she still delivers it in a way that's, like, calming and relaxing. And you're like, oh, my goodness, what is happening? This is amazing. Like, she is such a great uh, a booktuber, uh, such a great content creator, such a great person, and such a great voice. Next up is the background taxi. Another one that could go to many, many people, uh, but I'm going to give this one to Katrina uh, from Katrina Brown. Uh, she has the wildest stuff happening in her background. Like, the way that her bookshelves... Uh, have like progressed throughout the year have been very interesting uh sometimes you know there's clowns in the background if she's talking about clown stuff sometimes there's halloween stuff sometimes there's christmasy stuff there's always a weird looking doll head always staring at you and looking into your soul uh and uh she's she delivers everything entertaining but like i love her background so much like there's always something weird to find in the background uh, of one of her videos where he's like what is that and she is a person who like can sometimes just like if you're on sprints with her sometimes she'll just be like oh i have this and then just pull out the most crazy wild thing i remember once i was sprinting with her and she just pulled out a thing of helium she just had a two she had a thing of helium she's going whoop, whoop. i'm like are you a character from a cartoon? Where did you get that thing of helium? And he goes, oh yeah, Alex just found it in an alley. And I was like, what? What? This is wild. And she's just like, every time, it's like she's like a prop comedian. I'm just like, what is going to happen next in one of Katrina's videos? What is she going to pull out when I'm talking to her? It's just like, a, oh yes, I have this. And it's just like the Declaration of Independence or something. I don't know. I don't know. Is she Nicolas Cage from National Treasure? She could be. We just never know. Uh, Katrina's a wonderful, uh, and I just love her background and the weird things that, <laughs> that she just pulls from off the frame. Next up, uh, Makes You Think Paxi. For this, I'm really going to go with uh, Tangible Reed, uh, who is Courtney. Courtney is somebody who's just a very fun person to, to watch. She does so many sprints. And I, I just kind of love the way that she uh, presents stuff and the way she talks about stuff. Uh, and for me, the one the reason why I definitely wanted to give her this award is uh, just because, like, her Garb August content was the best uh, on the entire platform. And there's a lot of people involved in that event. And her stuff was outstanding. Uh, it really made me think. Like, it really made me think about the specific, some of the downsides of the focus on vintage with Garbagist and how uh, there should be a more open-ended, more inclusive way to get all types of trash for everyone uh, and not have to put someone through some pretty bad, dated, horrible 80s book written by an old white man. Uh, and, you know, there's there was a lot of very interesting stuff that she read during Garbagist and the way she talked about what she read. Uh, and which just really made me think and like was was very much uh, you know highlighting uh, some of the the, the short sightedness uh, of the event uh, and not in a bad way. Uh, she she was never complaining about it. It was like it was in a way that I think just next year will make Garbacus even better. So uh, I I uh, I have to give it to Courtney. Also, I love whenever Courtney shows up to a sprints or something and she's like, "You guys are a hoot." She just says that. She, every once in a while, she just pop up and be like, I'm having a fun time. And that's it. She doesn't really comment more, more than that. She just happens to be like, you guys seem like you're having fun. And I was like, ah, it's Courtney. Hello. And I always, I always love when she shows up. She's always, she always says a nice thing whenever she pops up. So it's like, oh, she's very sweet and nice and is very smart and has awesome 
uh, opinions on things that make you think. Next up is the New Kids on the Block Paxi. Uh, I won this last year in the Paxi Awards. Oh my God, when I watched that, I cried a lot. Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, but uh, I have to give this to my booktube nemesis, Nick, from another booktube channel. Uh, I say that in jest. I love Nick. Uh, we just seem to read similar things but have the exact opposite opinions. Almost always. Almost always. Uh, and it's very fun because I like the way that he presents. I like the way that he talks about things. Uh, I, I just like arguing with him and like having debates with him in a way that's like very fun. And uh, it's like it's a very nice discovery of somebody who reads very similar things has seemingly has like a similar background to me. Uh, but we just disagree on mostly everything. And I think that's very, very fun and funny. And, and it's just a fun thing I discovered through Garbagus, another uh, event that uh uh, is how I discovered him. Uh, so yeah, I I uh, uh, I have to give this to uh, to Nick. I know he's technically started like near the end of 2022, uh, but you know he's new to me. He's new to me. Uh, next up is the blowing up Paxi. Criminali won this last year. He's winning it again because I watched that video of the last Paxis, and between then and now, there's another 10,000 people showed up in his subs. I was like, damn. Damn! Some people can't even get the 200, and this man is just wham. Now I'm at 30k, and I'm like, whoa, whoa! It's wild. Anyways, criminal, I keep blowing up. He's gonna, you know, take over the world one day, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm okay with the new pleasure of the allegiance to the world being crime, pulp, horror, and that type of thing. Criminal is just a great person in general. Again, he he started this tag going, and I very much appreciate that. Uh, and he's just a, a wonderful person in general. Uh, and is very, very kind to uh, accept the ribbing I occasionally give him on videos. Uh, I always mean it in jest and in fun, but uh, other people don't take it as well. So I'm glad that Holly is such a good sport. Next up is the Sprinter Extraordinaire. And I'm giving this to Cat from Cat Novel Adventures. I think Cat is a, a wonderful person. Uh, but I really want to give her the award for this because she has created her own little community uh, through doing Wednesday sprints week after week. She does a weekly Wednesday sprint and people show up for there that I'm like, I don't know any of these people. And it's like you show up and it's like a whole little community uh, of people you don't really see on other people's videos who have found and kind of created their own little a corner of booktube and it's like very heartening it's very sweet they all say hello to each other they all are interested in keeping up with each other week to week and it just seems to be kind of like a a club of people who i don't see anywhere else so it's like cat is really providing something uh through her sprints that uh other people aren't because there is new unique people showing up uh, and I think Kat is a wonderful booktuber and is a wonderful person in general. Uh, but I really just had to highlight how good and how uh, inspirational her sprints are. That, that she has managed to create like this own little community. And it's very, very sweet. Best in poetry. This goes out to every single person who continued on uh, panic poetry. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, getting emotional again. Uh, but everyone who uh, continued Panic Poetry after we lost Pax, uh, it would have meant the world to her. And I don't know much about poetry, but I loved watching her poetry videos every single Tuesday. And every time I see something pop up in my feed that it's like someone else is continuing that trend... Uh, whether you're a big channel, whether you're a small channel, no matter how many subscribers you have, the fact that you are continuing is just really, you know, just makes me feel good. And this one goes out to all of you because uh, I know Pax would have uh, loved it. So, Ooh, 19 is the Pax Panic Award. So this is the final one for me. I want this to go to somebody who I think makes BookTube a better place. Uh, and I can't think of anyone better suited for that than Alex from The Bookubus. Alex is such a, just a kind, nice person. It's through her that I actually discovered Pax. The very first Paxi, uh, she gave Alex the Queen of Booktube Award. 
And uh, Alex talked about that in one of her videos. And it is what led me to PAX and led me to starting this this really, uh, unfortunately, not as long as it could have been uh, friendship. So I really value her placement in the community, how she interacts with people, how she talks about books, how she just kind of makes BookTube a better place. I, I just think that uh, BookTube wouldn't be what it is without Alex. And she contributes so much to everyone. Uh, and, you know, uh, every time one of her videos comes out, it's like a help you get through a day, no matter if it's been bad or good. Uh, they're always the highlight of whatever day they come out in. So uh, this one just uh, goes to Alex. Ugh. Sorry, I keep going and making weird noises because I'm getting emotional. Uh, if you are at all inclined, please do a version of this tag because I know it would have meant a lot to PAX to continue this tradition of spreading love. Uh, so thank you and uh, have a good day. Goodbye.